you enjoy the show, please consider placing a donation in the drop boxes near the stadium exit. Alternately, you can donate. This is the Grand Haven Musical Fountain, and we're here. And can you believe this is the world's largest musical fountain? Uh, actually, Steve, it's not the not the largest. It's you know one of the largest. It is the second largest musical. No, 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 no. It's not the second largest either. It's just it was originally back when it was built in 1962. It's the oldest musical fountain in existence. In the United States, yes. Oh. All right. Well, let's check it out. All right. All right, well, we're standing in the middle of the fountain, and Ryan, you're one of the programmers who makes the music and water kind of dance together, right? Correct. Can you tell me about the fountain? The fountain took about a quarter million dollars to uh, make, but a lot of volunteer hours and a lot of donations that it took to build it. Okay, who wakes up and says, you know what, we need a Grand Haven musical fountain? William A. Booth, actually, is uh, the original uh, designer. A little over a thousand. And how long is it? Around 240 feet. So a football field? A little bit less. And how long is an average show? Around 20 minutes. And how long does it take you to program that show? Could take up to 300 hours. 300 hours for a show? Yes, sir. Well, part of this package is all about looking underground. So let's see how this thing is powered. Let's go. So we're going underground. Underground. What's in this? This is the pump room. All, everything happens. Musical fountain control room. Exactly. Whoa. We're looking at the controls, basically, of the fountain. What actually controls the fountain, um, all the nozzles and the pots that are inside here. So these are the actual motors that pump the water? Correct, yeah, these are actually built in the 1920s and they were donated by the Grand Haven Water Department. Now this looks like the computer guts that actually control the fountain. That's exactly what it is. This uh, computer here is actually the very first step in the process. This is what's sending the audio, the lighting, and then the water signals over to uh, each individual control. Okay, scratch this off my bucket list. Starting the musical fountain. All right, we're gonna start over here. Hydraulics, air compressor. Steve, go ahead. All right, pump. So it is quite loud in here. It is. So I heard this thing was on a clapper, so if I clap twice... No, 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 no. You're not doing it right. It's... Okay, Ryan, if people want to check this out, how can they? They're going to check it out nightly at the Waterfront Stadium, down right off of Washington Street, uh, every night between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Uh, and then they can also check it out uh, through May and September, Friday and Saturday. Pretty cool. In Grand Haven, Steve Zagman, WZCM 13 News. Still didn't work, Steve.